and I'm the molecular biologist at Bento Lab. Today I'm going to show you around my home lab setup. A because I think it's really cool, uh, but B because you may have seen my posts on Twitter and not really have a good context of where I'm working. So I'd like to show you that it really is possible to do molecular biology from home. I'm also going to say at this point that I'm a molecular biologist and not a vlogger or a film producer. The YouTubers make this look a lot easier than it is. So I do apologise for my presentation and that I'm not word perfect. This is quite new to me. And I'm really hoping I get better at this as this vlog series evolves. So bear with me and thank you for your patience. So just to give you an aerial view of the lab setup on my kitchen table, um, from me stood on a kitchen chair. I have covered my kitchen table in a plastic sheet just to make it easier to wipe down, disinfect between experiments. And I have uh, the right hand side of the table is for pre-PCR work. So extracting DNA from my samples um, prior to them going into the PCR machine. And I have my bento lab neatly straddling both sides. And then on the left hand side, I have my post PCR product. It's not strictly necessary to do this, um, but it's very good molecular biology practice to keep your pre and post PCR products separate, just to reduce uh, contamination. And because I'm working with things that might end up uh, being in the kits that are sent to you, I, will, I need to make sure that they cannot be contaminated. So when you see me on Twitter doing DNA extractions or setting up PCRs, I'm always sat at this end of the table, my pre-PCR end. And when I'm putting a PCR on and setting up the program, I'll be sitting here. And when I'm pouring a gel, loading my PCR samples onto it, running it on the bento lab, or putting it onto the blue light to visualise, this is where I'll be at the post-PCR end of the table. So the purpose of today's vlog really was to introduce you to me and to my home lab setup. Um, but going forward, I hope that this vlog series um, is to show you what you can do with your own home lab setup and to give you a sort of behind the scenes of a day in the life of a molecular biologist, really. Um, I'm hoping that I can inspire you that molecular biology really can be done from home by anyone. Okay, I do have a background in molecular biology, but all of our protocols are straightforward to follow and can be done by anyone with an interest to do so. And I really want to communicate that to you in this series. So I'm hoping to uh, have some samples coming in. Um, people are, they're on their way to me already. So hopefully they will turn up in time for the next vlog. Otherwise I will go and pick some leaves from the garden. So yeah, please join me for the next in the series. And I, again, I'm hoping to get better at this. So please bear with me.